Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Colombo, Sri Lanka, which is an amazing city for food lovers. The spices, the curries, the techniques. Today we are gonna go on an ultimate Sri Lankan food tour of Colombo. We're gonna start on the outskirts of the city and then work our way into the center to the busy market area, eating street food along the way. I'm gonna share all the food with you in this video right now. Good morning, Rosina. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Fine, thank you. Where are we going first? Okay, first we're going to the outskirts of Colombo city limits. Okay. So we're going to start from breakfast street food and work our way into Colombo. So we're on our way for breakfast first. We're starting in the morning. It's a beautiful morning. It's going to be an amazing day. We drove for about 30 minutes outside of the center of the city. Uh, we're near to the parliament. It's kind of like a park, breezy, tree-lined area. There's lakes around here. Um, and there's a row of street food stalls that sell a variety of different curries as well as a variety of different rotis. So this is where we're gonna begin. This is where we're gonna have breakfast. Dal? The dal and the Okay, thank you. <laughs> we got the, the godamba roti, which is the stuffed roti with the egg and with that onion mixture inside. Yeah. Uh, then he chops it up, he added on both a scoop of the chicken curry mm -hmm. sauce and yeah. dal on top, and then some pol sambal, which is the coconut shredded coconut, which is one of my favorite Sri Lankan <laughs> condiments that's what it is is a condiment it's just like oozy it's hot it's freshly cooked everything is fresh you can see the egg just sprouting out of it you can feel how that dough from the roti is kind of like gooey and kind of like saturated with that curry sauce already Ready? cheers cheers mm. <laughs> oh. oh that is delicious mm -hmm. the chicken curry sauce the doll is like starchy yeah and then the roti is like swollen with the curry sauce. It's like, yeah, it's like it's bloated absorbed. with the curry sauce. It's absorbed all that curry. So it's Fully like absorbed. full of flavor. Uh-huh. Awesome. Awesome. Oh yeah. That's like very warming, pretty filling because it's dough like <laughs> soaked up with, with sauce and like it's exactly what you want to be eating yeah. for breakfast in Sri Lanka. Mm. And the onions in there, the 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 egg stuffed within that roti. That's what makes it good too. We really make tea like this anymore. Anywhere else ah, in Colombo than here in this okay. area. Wow. So this is like the proper, like, you know, artisan tea. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah oh, real tea. Proper ginger tea. Yeah, proper ginger. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, the ginger, the ginger. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. The black tea, uh, you taste the ginger going down your throat a little bit, but what's awesome is it's not powdered ginger, it's not dry ginger, that's fresh ginger. That's like ginger juice in there. You even chew on little chunks of ginger. That is wonderful. Okay, it'll get help all you of digest. it in one bite. Yeah, it'll I wanna, help you digest as well. I want to get all that ginger. Okay, swirl it around. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's a mouthful of ginger. That was wonderful. Delicious breakfast. Great way to start this Sri Lankan food tour. We're moving on to the next place.
Hello, hello, good, thank you. How are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So actually the day that we made this food tour, the street food, Colombo street food tour, this restaurant was closed. So we had to come back the next day. Uh, but this is a spot that Ruzena said that we could not miss, right? No, no, not, not in this area. In this area, this yeah. is one of the, your favorite spots. Mm -hmm. And what are we gonna eat here? Uh, what do you want? There's a um, definitely everything. Uh, put the, uh, yeah. Do you want the beef as well? Sure. How are you? Hi, I'm so fine. Good, good. You like the food here? Oh, yes. Great, we got here at the right time. The food is fresh. It smells so good. You walk inside, you just smell the aroma, like filling the humidity of the air. Oh, okay. It's pumpkin. So this is one of those restaurants where they have everything in the cabinet display and it's such an incredibly hard choice what to order. So we just decided not to make that choice and just to get everything they have available. So they dished us out, they were nice to dish us out little portions of everything. Fried beef with chili all over it, yeah. there's uh, coconut. Is that a sambal? Yeah, that is a coconut sambal. Coconut sambal. And then there's the onion sambal. Oh, nice. This is the salted fish. Also oh, that's called salted fish yeah. with? With capsicum and onions and tomato, so well, it's like a awesome. caravel, a caravel dala. The salted, the salted fish. Okay. Scoop some of that salted fish with that that chili capsicum. Well, oh, that looks good. Some pumpkin. It's a pumpkin curry. Yes, it's pumpkin. Add a little bit of that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Extra good yes, the coconut sambal. All right, I think that's good to begin with. He just brought us over some fried. Papadang and chilies. Papadang and chilies. <laughs> that, is a, that is a necessary addition. It is a must. All right, I think I'm gonna begin with that salted fish. Mix it in with the rice. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, that's good. Like, a salted fish. Such a depth of like salty flavor. And the chilies, kind of crisp, kind of like just flavorful, like almost citrusy tasting. This one is the pumpkin curry. Oh, and the, the, you can see just how the sauce is like made up of pumpkin. It's kind of like disintegrated into it. I'm gonna re-pumpkin. Actually, the entire sauce is just liquid pumpkin. Oh. Good, right? And there's coconut milk in it too, right? Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, that's insane. Yeah. That's like liquid, co liquid um, pumpkin with liquid coconut milk. The richness of it, the like creaminess of it. So much flavor, and it's so, so good. good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, just completely crispy. Not really spicy, but really fragrant. Sri Lankan fried chicken. Yeah. And what's the batter? Is there spices in it? Is there? Yeah, they uh, cook it in like a gravy sauce. Okay. Okay, my first time. My first time for Sri Lankan fried chicken. Yep. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It is good. Mm -hmm. It's like a light spice, but really crispy. And then just fried chicken is always good. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like dehydrated. You see the chilies on there. You see the, the curry leaves again, the onions and the tomato. Mm, okay. Mm. Kind of got to like chew with the grain. It's a little bit tough. Yeah. But because it's such a huge chunk, kind of got to like... Mm. You want to like nibble off little bites at a time. Sorry. No, it's okay. And then doll just to like wrap it all up. Onion sambal. Mm -hmm. It's like a creamy dressing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, it's amazing, yeah. It's wonderful. They make it sometimes with coconut milk and sometimes with curd. It's tutti. Thank you very much. Restaurant is called Milano Hotel. 
amazing food, the mix of dishes, that salted fish. What else was, yeah, every, everything was just good. That's just a classic rice throwdown meal. Yeah, and those are some like, yeah, hearty portions of delicious Sri Lankan food. All right. All right. It would not be a complete Sri Lankan street food tour of Colombo without eating egg hoppers. And egg hoppers, it's one of my favorite like snacks in Sri Lanka. It all begins with a batter that's made from rice flour and coconut milk. Um, and it has this like runny texture. As soon as the rounded pans are hot, uh, he scoops in a ladle of the batter into the rounded pans and it's all about that flick of the wrist because the key of hoppers is to have um, it be the batter be thin around the edges but be thicker on the bottom. You can either order plain hoppers or an egg hopper. If you order the egg, he drops in an egg immediately. Uh, he waits till it's cooked and then one version he makes, he like whips up the, the yolk so that pops the yolk so that it's like a scrambled egg in the middle and then one version he makes uh, with the entire yolk still in place. So you get to pop it on your own. I got the two different versions of the egg hoppers, one with the yolk still. It's just like an entire uh, fried egg in the middle of a circular concave. It's like an edible bowl. It's like a, a contact lens of an edible contact lens. Roll it up, the sauce is all on the inside already starting to drip and that's before the yolk is even popped. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh that's awesome. Yeah. Mm. The sauce is incredible. Really what I love so much about hoppers is the dual textures. Okay. The crispy edges, the like soft. spongy soft mm -hmm. bottom center. Yep. And I don't even think I hit that yolk no, yet. No, you haven't. You haven't. I need to take another bite. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah. I think I got that entire yolk in one bite. It's actually dripping down my arm. <laughs> one more resaucing and I think I can finish it all in one bite. I think that's a one biter now. Yeah. This could be a messy bite. Mm-hmm. And that right there is one of the best Sri Lankan snacks you could ever have. That is exactly what you want to be eating. Nice to meet you. When you have an afternoon snack in Sri Lanka. Yeah, it's so tasty, it's so good. It's so like, it's so simple, but it's all about that experience, that, that flick of the wrist to swirl the batter perfectly so that the textures are correct. We drove over to an area, a big section of Colombo called Peta. Uh, this is a market area. It's one of the busiest uh, business districts of Colombo. It's the railroad station is here. It's really like the heart, the beating center of Colombo. And so we're gonna walk around here. We're gonna eat a lot of food and just explore. It's called acharu and it's a mix, he has a mixture of different fruits which are all marinated in chilies. You can see the black pepper, you can see the sugar sprinkled on it. I'm sure there's salt, uh, but it's a mix of different marinades. Typically, he would dish you a container and you would just kind of take it away as a snack. Uh, but he's so nice and friendly, he's just gonna dish us some from the spoon just to get some taste tests. And this is like pineapple, you can see the black pepper, is that yeah, black pepper on it? Black crushed pepper, black crushed pepper. and chili and uh, salt and sugar. <laughs> Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, right? oh, yeah. It's salty. It's sweet from the pineapple. Uh, Here's some black pepper. The umbrella? Umbrella? Oh, get yeah. it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. To me, it sort of tastes like a green mango. Um, it has that crispness to it, it has that sourness. The black pepper is awesome. You've got to try black pepper on your fruit. This one is a Sri Lankan olive and this one has a totally different sauce on it. It's more of like a like a paste on it rather than just that black pepper rub. Mm. 
This one is more sweet. Like the olive, you, you can taste it. It's kind of like creamy, a little bit tart. More like has like a like a sugary, sweet, and sour taste to it. That's good too. Yeah. But the one that I really want to try is the wood apple. Yeah. Wood apple is one of like the national fruits of Sri Lanka. Yeah. You said it's a green wood apple? No, it's the raw wood apple. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh, that's awesome. It's sour. It's kind of like chalky. Like it makes your mouth dry a little yeah. bit. But at the same time, it makes your mouth like juicy. It is addictive. <laughs> this apple? I think out of all the, the pickle marinage, I like the black pepper marinade. Somehow like the black pepper really goes well with the sweetness and juiciness of the fruit. Thank you. This place is called Bombay Sweet Meat Mart. Uh, and, oh yeah, check this out. And they specialize, you know, they have a number of different things, but especially their faluda. And faluda, it's a Persian origin, but it's, you'll find it across Asia. It's in different formations, in different variations. We're gonna try the Sri Lankan version of faluda. You gotta stir it up. Yeah. It's rose syrup. Rose syrup, okay. Milk, vermicelli, sometimes they put jelly in it, and uh, basil seeds. And you can see those little basil seeds, the vermicelli floating around. Oh yeah, you really taste that floral rose flavor to it. It's sweet, it's kind of like candy tasting. Um, but then you've got a lot of textures going on. you got that liquid, you've got the, the noodles which are sort of gummy, and you've got the basil seeds which have a little bit like a, they're kind of like chia seeds. They have that little snap to them in your teeth as they kind of like grind in your teeth. You just kind of slurp up those vermicelli noodles, they just kind of slide right down. Okay, and then we also got some chicken samosas. Oh yeah, oh chicken samosa is nice. Chicken, there's lots of onions in there. Lots of onions. Mm. We're getting to one of the market sections. You can smell the dried fish, there's dried shrimp, there's all sorts of spices, there's turmeric, there's coriander seed, and cumin. The aromas are wonderful. Immediately step under the cover and you can, your nostril just fill with the aroma of dried fish. Dried fish being a very essential ingredient and flavor in Sri Lankan cuisine, but there's vegetables, there's chilies, there's tomatoes, there's cucumbers, there's brinjal eggplant, there are fruits like mangosteen, you see pumpkin, you see cabbage, um, and then all the dry spices. But this is where just in a few seconds you can just get a, a slight sense of the different ingredients used in Sri Lankan cooking. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I'm ready to. <laughs> What's up, my man? What's up, my man? How are you? Been eating. I already, I already got some uh, peanuts. <laughs> Ramen beast. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> and we're gonna go eat some more food now. We good? Yeah, we good. Yeah. Okay. We've decided to jump into a. Are you guys back there? Hello. Ready to get We're aggressive. <laughs> We're on our way to go eat. Is it fried baba? Fried intestines. Ooh. Okay, fried intestines. Yep. Oh yeah. The good stuff. Area is called house top. House top. Yeah, everyone knows it's like the deep street food. All know? right. It's if you want to have something unique, you got to come here. Well, the street is just lined with rickshaws. Uh, you can smell the, the deep friedness in the air. Do chicken next to it. Oh, big baba. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, you can ask them, see? It's like honeycomb tripe. Do you want it cut or do you want it chunks like that? How do they eat it? They cut it. Yeah, let's, yeah, cut, let's it cut it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Cut it, thank you. So we found we found the shop with the intestines. Oh, they, they also have mixed tripe in there. And they have a whole can of chicken necks, which are like, looks like they're cooked in a chili paste. Uh, so we're gonna get a few uh, samplers platter. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to get a bottle of water, okay? I'm going to get a bottle of water. 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 I'
That looks awesome. That's intestine. That's intestine. Yeah, yeah. This, that's yeah intestine. there we go. Oh, you got a scooper. That definitely looks like yeah. intestine, what I have. Yeah, yeah this is it's intestine. It's opened up. Yeah, it's like, this one is the intestine. All right, guys. Get a close-up. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, that's flavorful. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. I like that. It's not like it's not sweet. It's just chili flavor. Micah likes it and salty. Interesting. It's like bubble gum. No. <laughs> this is just so new to you, right? It's like meat bubble gum. <laughs> that's good. Nice. It's good. Maybe mine was mine wasn't as true as yours. Yeah. I think. No, no, we are used to the texture. All right. Next, I'm ready for the next one. So this is the stomach of the cow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. It's Ooh, so I like young. this one. I like this one better. Yeah, As you chew down, like the the like chili oil like, juices out of it. It's also the tripe, but it might even be a different part of the stomach. Here we go. Yeah. Next bite. Mmm. Oh yeah, mm. and a totally different flavor. It's almost like milky, mm. milky, chewy, fatty. Yeah, definitely. I think Micah was already sucking on one of the necks. That might be Micah's. Okay, I'll take Micah's. Next piece is the the chicken necks, which they just they just kind of chop them in half and just a regular Sunday afternoon. <laughs> chicken necks. Oh yeah, you can't eat the bone. Oh yeah, that's good meat. Yeah, that's like good meat. The calcium, you eat the bones, you kind of got to kind of got to crunch them and chew them up well, but you can't eat the whole bones and all. First time I've done this. Yeah. Eat the full neck and all. Yeah. Has a lot of texture to it, a lot of bony texture to it. Mm. It's like nankotsu, like you know nankotsu, like the cartilage, uh, like fried chicken mm -hmm. cartilage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crunchy. They do it in Thailand. Do Very it. similar. The chicken necks are actually one of the best pieces because they're not quite as salty. And it has more of like a well-balanced chili paste on it. The intestines, though, and the tripe are also excellent. I just got two of them. Sweet dessert. Dessert, guys. Cookies. Cookies. <laughs> I wanted to try their vade, which is a—it's like a dal lentil fritter. A dal lentil patty. Oh wow. That is like fried to a complete crisp. You taste the onions. You taste the like starchiness of the lentils. Mm. Yeah, it's crispy. Oh yeah. Mm. Super crunchy. It has like that crust. Yeah. Mm. Thank you very much. Okay, very good, very Thank good. You. Thank you. Thank you. So much texture, so much flavor. Amazing. Uh, we're gonna try to find one more dish here before we proceed on. Hey, how are you? I am one of your followers. Thank you, Thank you very much. Ooh, that looks incredible. Wow. Oh, they're double stacking. We're stopping at the next restaurant just up the street to eat some more curries, uh, but just one dish in particular. We came here to specifically eat the brain curry, uh, which they are known for, but they have a bunch of different dishes. And immediately what you notice that's different is it's like a green curry sauce in color, and there's lemongrass on it. They look like cauliflower almost, but I can guarantee you they are way creamier than cauliflower. Well, are we doing hit fingers? The whole thing. Or no, the whole oh. thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah, me too. Yep. Okay. Oh, you're gonna, I'm gonna roll it around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> roll it around. Okay, I'm gonna break. I, I can't. I can't eat the whole. I don't think I can open my mouth so big. <laughs> I hope I can fit okay. this. I'm okay. gonna try. Yeah, right. Cheers. Cheers. Brains up. Cheers. <laughs> wow. That is a lot of cream in my mouth at one time. Definitely way too much brain in one bite. Like the creaminess just almost overwhelmed me. Um, just like, it really is like the texture of panna cotta. It's so creamy. It's so almost fluffy. The, the flavor of that curry is actually very mild. You don't really taste a lot of spice other than the brain itself. People should not normally try that all in one bite, but, but it was a lot of fun. It was a good dessert after the necks and the tripe to end on some creamy brain dessert. I feel pretty good. That's a lot of cream, baby. That's a, that's a lot of cream in your mouth at one time. 
right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice they, to meet they, you. They, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye. We are on our way to Gao Face to eat some of the most iconic street food in Sri Lanka, in Colombo. Uh, and we'll be right along the beach. It's getting to be sunset. It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful setting. The breeze, the ocean, the street food. Welcome to Gao Face. This is probably the most iconic area gathering place, just like part of Colombo. It's right along the ocean. Uh, there's tons of development in this area. It's a huge open space where people gather, where people fly kites. There's street food. It has just like a, it's like a park. It's like a gathering space. It's a, just a positive, all around fun place to be. We're gonna try some of the street food here, which is gonna end this ultimate street food tour of Colombo. And then just, yeah, the water is beautiful here too. I love it. Crab and shrimp. Okay, after the miss, make a Oh, you eat the shell too? Yes. Oh, it's all deep fried. So oh, you come on, on it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, go kill it on it. Oh, huh? oh, better than on it. It's a soft shell crab. So. Oh, okay. And then a the shrimp too. So I said, take a sea. Especially in the evening, right? Yeah. Set up along the ocean front, you will find uh, a number of street food stalls all serving these like orange, crunchy looking snacks with shrimp embedded into them as well as crabs. Yeah. What is this? It's sowade. It's the most iconic thing that you'll ever have in Sri Lanka. It's unique to Sri Lanka. And if you come to Sri Lanka and Colombo especially, and you don't have isowade, you haven't completed a Sri Lankan tour or a Sri Lankan visit. Trust me on awesome, that. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and so, and so Galface is the place to eat it? Golf or is there, can you eat it all over Colombo or anywhere? No, Galface Golf is the place to have it. So the this is the place, place you have to yes. come. It's called isowade. And yeah, <laughs> I came, when I visited Colombo back in 2010, I remember coming to Golf Face, I remember trying this. Uh, I had no idea exactly what I was doing, but I remember it was good, it was crunchy. I'm happy to be back again now. Happy to, that you're back. To try I remember, some more. Yes, I remember watching you back in 2010, eating thank this you. and putting this in the map. So thank you and thank you awesome. for coming back. I'm happy to be here. And we just, we're, just, we're gonna order some right now. Sauce? Golf Face sauce. I call it the Golf Face sauce. The Golf Face sauce. sauce, you'll only find it again at Golf Face. You gotta come to Golf Face to eat it. Um, and then tops it with a handful of onions and like cabbage maybe mixture. Yeah. What type of batter is on the bottom? Uh, this is uh, chickpea flour. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Mm. Yes. I remember that flavor. It's really crispy, slightly like gooey on the inside. Yeah. Soft center, crispy, yeah. prawn. And what's good about the prawn is that you he, the shell is on. So that gives it even more of like a vibrant prawn flavor. The sauce is slightly acidic, the lime juice, mm -hmm. and then just with those onions. Yeah, that's just like the perfect beachside oceanfront snack. Mm. Mm. You taste a little bit of spice in the base too. A little bit of a cumin -y flavor. Same base but with crab. It's the crab version. And it's like a, it's an entire crab. It looks like a blue swimmer crab. An ocean crab, yeah. Yeah, it's a um, crab. And again, when you order it, he adds on the sauce, the golf is sauce, and tops it with a handful of onions, uh, garnishing it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. oh, be careful of the the crows that will come to attack. Oh, they got our. They got up. Oh well. Oh well, we were we were blogging and not paying attention. The crow has got our our snack. Last penny. You've got again that crunchy chickpea layer batter mm -hmm. on the bottom but then you like bite into the body of that crab it's like juicy you get like yeah. this and you get like this again the, the like extra pungent crab flavor because you eat the shell and all and the, yeah. the shell has so much flavor wow mm. boy mm. you can chew through the entire claw <laughs> but it is like bone crispy almost <laughs> Mix, uh, uh, mix kotu and uh, seafood kotu, beef kotu, chicken kotu. What do you, you like? recommend? 
Mix cut too. Okay, thank you for that. There's one more thing we need to eat to complete this Sri Lankan food tour. Okay, so kotu roti, it is one of the most iconic foods to eat in Sri Lanka. Um, and then he takes the iconic um, double hand spatulas and kind of like um, works that up in a rhythmic fashion, kind of chopping and mixing and stirring all at the same time. The seafood is then mixed and combined, everything goes together. You can smell the aroma, the curry leaves are just vibrant in there. It's just like an all-in-one fried bread meat and sauce and chili and pepper and spices all just like soaked up into the roti and it's yeah it's something you don't want to miss when you're in Sri Lanka oh yeah oh thank you oh yeah it's salty you taste the curry sauce you taste the curry leaves but to be honest it's a little too salty for me the great thing about kotu roti is how they they chop and stir everything is just like soaked into that roti bread that's pretty salty but pretty addictive i think this is an entire liver here yeah an entire chicken liver in that bite oh yeah Okay, so we have come to the end of this Sri Lankan street food tour of Colombo. It's been an amazing day. We've eaten some incredible food. Normally I do a street food tour all in one day. Everything is in one day from place to place to place. Today we did it in two days in this video because a lot of things were shut. It was a holiday when we started, but we spread it out between two days. But the food we've eaten has been delicious, met incredibly friendly people, and it was an amazing time to hang out with Ruzena. She is the minority taste. She loves Sri Lanka, she loves Sri Lankan food, she's knowledgeable about Sri Lankan food, and I will have all her links in the description box. Check them out below. Just look at that sunset right now, it's beautiful. Also, I'll have all the information in the description box below, all the food we ate. You can check that all out below. And I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Good evening, good night from Colombo. Thank you again for watching and I will see you on the next video.